a little bit out of tune <clears throat> but uh, otherwise it's a beautiful morning right here <clears throat> I'd say it's around, uh, it's getting close to eight, eight o'clock here. So I'll let you take a guess where I am. Perhaps you can use your critical thinking and uh, observation skills, do a little panorama, a little panoramic view here. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guess where I am. Can you see the Mount Tees in the distance over there? We got Mount Eden, we got One Tree Hill, a little obelisk poking up over there, we got the city over there oh that's beautiful light coming up over there now the peeps are ticked off and i'm also ticked off and that's what i wanted to kind of say you know i'm not conforming to nothing and uh i really appreciate the fact that you know people have uh, subscribed to this channel recently it means a lot it's really nice you know like new zealand it's an isolated small community and there's not a lot of there's not a lot of people here that are switched on that are able to, you know, use use the mind of their own. Um, by and large, you know, people here, they conform to what is kind of disseminated by the, uh, by the higher-ups, you know. We had a, a nice little uh, chaotic uh, event a couple of days ago. Um, it was interesting to see that kind of thing in New Zealand. It's not something we, we see that often, you know, like they have a lot of that kind of stuff over in the States, over in Australia. And um, yeah, what was just interesting was to see how easily such a huge force can be mobilized against you if you, you know, <laughs> if you uh, have a slightly different opinion. So. It's just crazy, man. Like, look at all this money and finances that that go into these psyops, these psychological warfare operations. You know, couldn't we spend that amount of planning and human resources and financing to actually finance legitimate solutions to societal problems rather than just <clears throat> pointing out a couple of, you know potential societal problems and instead of finding a solution just fucking jumping up and down and screaming and yelling and going all crazy about it they actually find some solutions what people are proposing as a solution is to fucking you know scapegoat some people you know label them nazis label them fucking transphobic hate speech blah 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 and, and that's their solution, is to scapegoat, you know, quite a, quite a large number of people that um, aren't really doing anything wrong. If you want to punish someone, you should punish the people that are dressed in black and fucking doing, you know, Zeke Hiles, you know, and are potentially neo-Nazis or, you know, maybe they're paid off by by someone to be there to you know to mess things up or maybe they are neo-nazis but i don't fucking know all i know is that shit is like illegal like fucking a hundred times more illegal than what uh mrs posey parker uh, aka kelly keen was doing like she hasn't has has she has she incited uh violence herself or are these neo-Nazis inciting, you know, violence and hate speech? So, you know, who should be punished? Her or the neo-Nazis? I think you're going to say a lot of people will, will probably try and point the finger at her. Why? Because she's a woman and she doesn't really have that much. Um, she's not really that aggressive or, or you, know, uh, you know, scary, basically. Whereas those neo-Nazis or you know members or who, who they are that have been paid off or that are, that are there because maybe they choose to be I don't know but <sighs> those guys are scary man like uh, I made eye contact with a, a couple of them they really like kind of gave me that sort of yeah we'll fucking kill you mate if you uh if you get too close to us um so yeah they, they really they really warn you off you know um and so it's a lot easier to go after uh you know, a middle-aged, um, 
women than it is to go after these uh, quite scary, you know, neo-Nazis. But you know, a lot of them weren't even wearing their their fa their uh, balaclava or whatever. You, you know, they could have they could have they could have uh, identified these people and tracked them and, and fucking found them. Why was there nothing on the news uh, about that? So again, these people are just jumping up and down, yelling and screaming and drinking the Kool-Aid <coughs> about how they think the solution is to just scapegoat, you know, a small minority, you know, to scapegoat, uh, you know, a certain, a certain group of people, you know. Has that ever worked out in history? No, no, it hasn't. So, yeah. Thank you for subscribing uh, to the channel, and I just wanted to know that I'm just as ticked off as as uh, as you are. So, uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna practice a little speech which I've kind of prepared that I'm gonna go and you know do. So yeah, thank you. And uh, if you haven't already, you know, leave a, a thumb up or you know subscribe to the channel. Thanks.